Hi, Madam Eileen here. Are you ready for the next step for learning how to paint with a flat brush? Today we're going to do what I call is the C wiggle. So we're going to go down to my workstation below and get to painting. All right, I'm wetting my brush, wiping off the excess, and we're going to load up using our water cake which is white, teal, and blue. The wiggle is often used to um, reproduce water or the edges of a frilly flower. So to do a C wiggle, you start at a starting point, light on the bottom, dark on the top, you go up, wiggle your brush. You can do big wiggles, you can do little wiggles, and then slide back down. Or you can go up, do large wiggles so it's looped and scalloped, and then go down. What if I was doing the frills of a fish? This would be really good. If you're doing flowers, you want and you want each C wiggle to dry before you paint on it or across it, or it'll just blend. So I'm gonna do another one. Practice doing your C wiggles from different directions. You're gonna need this practice for doing flowers, Now, I'm not perfect at this, but I do know the elements that I can share with you to help you become a better face painter. This is all you need if you're going around an eye, but if you're using a smaller brush and you're going around, you want to make sure that you get your C wiggle from different directions. And see how far you can go before you start running out of paint. Most flowers are sets of threes or five or six. Very rarely will you find a four petal flower. When you see that your dark is not as dark, it's time to reload. These lines are, I'm trying to point them all to a center spot. So when I go down, I have a vanishing point off the edge. So all of your petals should point, line up towards a vanishing point, go up, wiggle, and then pull in, aiming towards that vanishing point. Of course, you lift up before you even reach that vanishing point, but that is what's going to make your flower believable. This one is almost dry. I'm gonna take my brush, load it up with just what moisture is still on there. Line it up with the vanishing point. And I can do some wiggles. And now my petal is on top of those other petals. And then you just do this layer by layer and you can get a multi petal flower just by doing the C wiggle. There might be an official name for it. I don't know what it is. This is just my, my word for this stroke. Doing a letter C, but adding wiggles, gentle wiggles. You could do excited wiggles. As long as it has that C pull up, wiggle, and then C pull down. A letter C doesn't touch. There's another technique that touches. Those are called petals. We're going to be doing those next. 